Hey guys, welcome back to Sack's Garage. I am Kevin Sack, and this is my garage. Now, drag truck update. We got the first of what should be three boxes in the mail uh, with drag truck parts. So I haven't opened it, it's still sealed, so we'll go ahead and see what's inside. Follow my forum posts on either S197 or the Ranger Station. You'll know that uh, I'm expecting some parts in. You'll know kind of what the parts are. I didn't order everything that I said I was going to order this winter um, just to kind of make the upgrade process easier. So, in this box, we got two things. Well, three. We got the airbags, those are garbage. Second, got a uh, button. Just a regular on-off button. I'll let you know that's over here in just a sec. But the big one here is MSD two-step for Ford 5.0. You guys know what that is. Two-step, help us launch. Um, right now, I'm having to manually uh, set the RPM at launch. If you'll watch my other videos, uh, you'll see that I'm not always going for reaction time off the tree. I'm trying to get good launches. So what's happening there is I'm having to manually set my RPM uh, just before the converter takes over and overrides the brakes. So in here we've got some instructions with the parts list, uh, launch control harness, a tap and three mounting screws. So there's my tap and screws. Here's my harness. Looks like all just plugs, and then the actual two-step box. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read through the instructions here, see what all it entails. It looks like it should be pretty easy, just uh, plugging in a couple harnesses uh, into the spark plugs. Uh, it should be pretty easy, but let's go take a look at how that works. So I've read the instructions, and basically we can't finish the uh, installation today. The way this installation works is you connect all of these uh, male harnesses into the factory plug that uh, connects to the ignition coil. That way the box will get the signal um, and can do its stuff from there. However... Part of the instructions here says connect all eight of these and then turn the ignition on and if this little LED light comes on that means that it's getting the signal. Uh, if that light doesn't come on that means you just have to swap these two harnesses so there's equal harnesses here there's a black and a gray and basically on all these connectors there's a black and gray wire and all, all it's really doing is basically on the different models and engines they can't determine whether or not to use the black or gray harness as the signal or the power harness. So what that means for us is we're only going to be able to do half the installation here. Not that the installation is difficult at all. I've already done this first one just to see how it is. Um, but I'll go ahead and do the second one just to show you guys. So what I do is, uh, where'd my screwdriver go? Well, I had a screwdriver and I don't know where it went. Anyway, we'll make it work with these pliers. So I already popped the red cap. Normally I use a screwdriver to uh, help pry these up, but these uh, pliers should be able to help out here. That way I'm not fighting the, uh, the connector because the last thing I want is to break the connector. So you gotta push down on the tabs. These are getting old it's a 2014 truck so we're already at what six years now um and these plastic harnesses get stuck on here and the plastic gets brittle and i really really don't want to break them but this one's giving me some trouble so come on All right, guys, I'm going to go find my screwdriver. I don't know where I put it, but I will be right back, and we'll finish this up. All right, guys, found my screwdriver. I like to use this little tiny flathead. I got it in a pack from Harbor Freight. 
I think for free actually. And it uh, is really good for pushing down these clips to release the little nub. And then once it's kind of down, you can use your thumb to push on it and kind of walk the connector up. This one's going to be super stubborn, but I'd rather take my time and not break the connectors than break the connector and have issues down the road. first one came off a lot easier. This one's being really stubborn. There we go. Heard the pop. I can just feel that they're kind of gritty in there. There's some dirt and whatnot. So you take this. This is the uh, stock ignition one. This is the male connector of the MSD harness. Plug them in. There's only one way that they can go. And uh, they're brand new, so they're hard to get together. So what I do is take my uh, pliers here and just slowly squeeze them together. And there's a click. And that's not going anywhere now. Now I can push the uh, red clip in to make sure it stays secure. And that's that. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the other six. And uh, for the rest of the installation, we'll have to wait till it's back in the truck. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're enjoying the parts that are coming in. We got more to come. Do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Help the YouTube algorithm. Get the channel out to more people so they can enjoy this project. And we'll see you next time.